Okay, folks, before we get going, uh, we need to clarify that video uh, that we put out talking about Francis, uh, Francis's shots of Alanin. Uh, that is a pro Francis video. This is what you do you take the debunkers theory, present it, and then show why it's wrong. Okay, here we go. A lot of you may be wondering with HARP, the New World Order, chemtrails, severe space weather, why care about Elenin? Well, the story of awakening and our interest in Elenin, it's a unique personal journey for each of you. Some believe uh, this is about the Bible. Others believe this is about HARP or CERN. Uh, others believe that Elenin is a dwarf star or Nibiru. But for us, uh, I guess it's easiest to explain that the story began with our interest in ancient astronaut theory, the idea that aliens came. And, you know, you just have to look at somewhere like Pumapunku, uh, where unbelievable archaeological feats uh, were done uh, by a race that had no uh, mathematics, no writing no way to move these blocks and put them into place as they were. There's a number of these places around the world. Another one is Giza. You know that they say that Giza was built in you know, a, a few decades. They, if you go by the official story of Giza, they would have had to have cut, moved, and placed one block into place every nine seconds. You know, religious stories mirror the stories of these ancient cultures that people from the stars came down and taught them things. And then you have people like Ed Leed Skullnan, who claim to know the secrets of the pyramids, claim that this is the electric universe and that gravity is actually real magnetism. The only modern marvel, modern monolithic structure, I should say. And so, this this sort of confluence of, of stories, of religious stories, of ancient stories, uh, really sort of built this basis within us, uh, like so many others who uh, are interested in ancient astronaut theory, uh, that there was just something else, something else out there. Now, no story resonated with us uh, more than the Sumerians talking about the Anunnaki. It would probably be a disservice to Zachariah Sitchin and that entire field of study if we were to try to summarize that here, so we definitely uh, advise you to do some research on that if you're curious. But essentially, uh, about a week after the earthquake in Japan, people were calling uh, Ellen and Nibiru, and you know one thing led to another, and that's how we got turned on to Comet Ellen. Now, most people know this best you know starting as the alignments you know with the earthquakes in Chile and Christchurch and in Japan well they have since proven to be uh, unreliable as evidence of causality with these earthquakes because it wasn't a real alignment you have to use the 3d aspect of the JPL people but it seems that despite what we thought about Elenin uh, turning out to be untrue. This thing just keeps reeling you back in. You think about Leonid Elenin and his name and all the different coincidences that just come from the name of the man whose name is on this comet. From Hollywood to NASA to a Allegedly a Russian man in his backyard with a telescope. For some people, that really got got them convinced that Alanin was what was doing the earthquakes or having some kind of effect on the earth. And as some of you remember, uh, the biggest argument was, okay, if this thing is so big, so massive, why can't we see it? And that's when people started going and looking with the infrared technology that we had, more specifically on Google Sky, 
using IRAS. Now, IRAS was last updated in 2007, as you can see below, and we're moving in here on a carbon star known as C.W. Leonis, and it just so happens that in addition to all the other coincidences surrounding Elenin, if you go back to 2007 when this was last updated, get Elenin's coordinates, plug them in here, it lies right on top of it. Uh, there's not much else to say. Uh, you can draw your own conclusions from that. People certainly have been doing so. But it's really hard to deny, regardless of what you believe is going on, it's hard to deny that earthquakes are more frequent and severe. That volcanoes are absolutely off the charts. And the weather? So many records set for tornadoes, flooding, extreme temperatures. Hurricane season is just getting started in the United States. The financial world is on the edge of collapse. This is easy to see. Civil unrest everywhere, even uh, as we filmed this on September 4th, just last night in Israel, the largest protest in that nation's history over the cost of living. It feels almost unreal that we could have such a confluence of confluence of unexplainable events. It seems at times scripted, even. And then, of course, NASA began changing the JPL diagram. We have many videos on that. We should suggest that you go back and look into that, especially the part about how the numerology changed the dates. Then NASA, after saying that this was a wimpy comment, completely insignificant, and essentially calling us crazy, decide to roll their very expensive stereo B to look at the com uh, to look at the comment. And it was pretty clear to everyone right away that uh, something was wrong because we had been hearing that this coma was bigger than Jupiter, and yet. We weren't seeing what we were told would be there. Now, well, since then, two coronal mass ejections have hit this thing. We have had many uh, pictures and people saying that it's broken up and disintegrated. And then we had the perfect minds doing us all a great service, uh, getting those shots of Ellen and showing that it's still there and it has not disintegrated. Leonid Elenin, who had said that it was pretty much done with, took those uh, comments down off of his site. So that's where we stand. It's essentially Elenin versus Francis. Uh, Francis versus everyone, uh, it seems sometimes. We'll stand behind his work. Believe what you can see with your eyes, <laughs> for the most part. Now, as we speak, our window to observe Elenin wanes. In a few days, the sun will preclude visibility, and we will all eagerly await the end of September to see her again. What will happen? Give us a date. We understand your queries, but cannot claim to know what, if anything, is going to happen. We don't advise that you listen to anyone who claims to be a prophet, who claims to somehow have answers to those questions that are otherwise beyond your reach. All we can do right now is play the waiting game. Now, the observers will be a bit less active here on YouTube for a while as final preparations are made. In the information box below, you will find every link you need, along with a list of our favorite YouTubers. And if anyone knows when Mexico is releasing that secret Mayan info, please send us a message. Now, be prepared. Stay sane and logical. Realize what you all have in common. Stop fighting with each other. And be safe.